Rahim, Assalamu alaikum. Dear students, hope you are doing good in the midst of COVID-19. This is Namuna Noor with the course Modern Trends in Miniature Painting. So today we have a topic, uh, Miniature Artists of Pakistan. In last few lectures, we discussed about the styles of different uh, miniatures like uh, Mughal art, Mughal art miniature and uh, Persian, Indian. So today we will discuss about contemporary artists of Pakistan, right? Uh, here is the list of contemporary artists of Pakistan. Then we will discuss of uh, the work of uh, different artists. And uh, in the last images and links, I will show some uh, tutorial as well. So list of contemporary artists of Pakistan. There are many famous contemporary artists of Pakistan. Some of the artists and their work details are given. Abdul Rahman Chukai, uh, who is no more, Bashir Ahmed, Shadia Sikandar, and Imran Qureshi. So here it is, Abdul Rahman Chukai. He was a painter, artist, and intellectual from Pakistan who created his own unique style, right? Abdul Rahman Chukai was a painter, artist, and intellectual from Pakistan who created his own unique distinctive painting style influenced by Mughal art, miniature painting, art and Islamic art traditions. He is considered to be the first significant modern Muslim artist from South Asia and the national artist of Pakistan. Uh, okay students, uh, let me tell you about uh, the history of Abdurrahman Jokai. He was basically a famous and uh, distinctive um, figure in miniature uh, world because of his unique style, right? In further, uh, I will discuss with you about his techniques as well. And definitely his work uh, was different. That's why he was uh, considered to be the most uh, significant modern Muslim artist from South Asia and the national artist of Pakistan. Here is the example of his work. He was given the title of Khan Bahadur by the British Empire in India in 1934. Awarded paint, uh, Pakistan's Hilal e Imtiaz, Crescent of Excellence Award in 1960 and the Pride of Performance Award in 1958 by the President of Pakistan. Okay, students, Chukai's first painting in our revivalist Oriental style appeared in the Modern Review magazine. He had his first exhibition in 1920 at the uh, Punjab Fine Art Society. He also exhibited uh, his work with the Indian School of Oriental Art during the 1920s, by which time he had become quite renowned because of his uh, unique style. His work contributed greatly to Lahore's uh, modern art scene. Uh, primarily, uh, he started his working on watercolor. His sketches were used in many books in Punjabi poetry uh, by Bhai Veer Singh for illustrating his famous poems like uh, Kambadi and uh, including his famous epic Rana Surat Singh. Okay. And uh, Chokai offered his gratitude to Bhai Veer Singh for becoming part of these illustrations as a young artist in his letter to him at uh, 1929. Okay, one more thing, uh, students, uh, you must know about uh, he never used a model figure to uh, portray. Uh, whatever he uh, performed in his uh, miniature paintings, like uh, he usually used female figures mostly in his painting, but he never used a model figure. Here, he uh, oftenly used uh, bright colors and uh, with the uh, flair of drapery and the background is quite contrasting with uh, yellow and green and blues in a beautiful way. 
and uh, he was strongly influenced by islamic art traditions and mughal art as well and his subject matter was drawn from the legends folklore and history of indo islamic world as well as punjab persia and the world of the moguls as you can see in these two figures as well he mostly uh, portrayed in a side poses now move on towards uh, his technique what he was using another distinct element of sukhtai's pioneering work in his technique of painting not only he used a type of paper that was stronger than usual his process also included washing his painting again and again this strategic manner of using watercolors to paint and washing the painting afterwards only to repeat the same process at least 40 times was to allow a deeper gradation to the artwork see students how deeply and um, in a observing way he used to paint and then uh, given washes of different uh, colors just to show the final touches with the gradation of color and artwork and he was not only focused on uh, just color he was also concerned about the paper whatever he was using for uh, different techniques as well okay next not only the artwork appeared to have more depth it also eliminated distinct color gradations between shades of the same palette this is according to khaja is one of the characteristic of identifying an authentic sukhtai painting khaja basically um, he was uh, he is a great admirer of uh, abdur rahman sukhtai plus uh, he criticized him but in a positive way right so um, if we see uh, sukhtai's work he not only focused uh, in paper but as well uh, the color palette the gradation of different tones jo saath saath colors ke different tones hoti hai na jo ke jisme light dip humne color add kiya to wo uska color change ho gaya white color add kiya black color add kiya kaise colors mein primary colors mein to wo uski color ki jo tones change hoti hai na uski gradation ki baat kar rahe hain basically hum the colors in each painting gently blend into each other and so look more natural जो पेंटिंग के कलर्स हैं ना वो इतने अच्छे से ब्लेंड हो जाते हैं वॉशिंग टेक्निक में कि वो जो है वो नेचुरल कंटेंट uh, जो है ना वो उसमें हमें फील होता है दिस कांस्टेंट वॉशिंग ऑफ द पीस अकॉर्डिंग टू खाजा एलिमिनेटेड द एसिडिटी ऑफ द पेपर एंड एज अ रिजल्ट द पेंटिंग वाज नेवर ब्रिटर टू द टच दिस इज अनदर वे टू आइडेंटिफाई फेक्स which he believes are rampantly represent in many galleries as well as private collection acha ji khaja ka ek aur kehna bhi hai ki agar humne sukhtai ke original kaam ko ya real kaam ko judge karna hai to unki washing technique jo hai usse judge kar sakte hain ki uski surface jo hai wo bahut smooth aur jo hai na bahut neat gentle form mein hogi to hame jo hai wo clear idea ho jayega ki ye fake hai या फिर अब्दुलरहमान सकाई की ओरिजिनल पेंटिंग है वन मोर थिंग आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू स्टूडेंट्स अबाउट दी आर्टवर्क ऑफ सुकाई के इनका काम जिस तरह सातकैन का काम बहुत ज़्यादा कॉपी होता रहा है अब्दुलरहमान का काम भी अभी तक इस तरह से कॉपी होता रहा है कि बिल्कुल वो ओरिजिनल फॉर्म लग रहा होता है तो इसलिए हमें डिफ्रेंशिएट करने में ईजी रहता है कि हम उनकी टेक्निक को समझें See students, there are uh, examples of uh, his illustrations. See, both paintings have a color difference. Check कर सकते हैं. Highlights change हैं. Color का जो scenario है वो totally जो है वो it depends on mood as well. एक में totally vibrant colors हैं और दूसरे में बहुत soothing colors के साथ जो है वो illustrate किया गया है. Clear? 
ओके स्टूडेंट्स अमंग सुसाइज पॉपुलरी वर्क वन ऑफ द मोस्ट पॉपुलर वर्क यू कैन से इज द लोगोज ऑफ पाकिस्तान टेलीविजन एंड रेडियो पाकिस्तान एंड हिज पेंटिंग ऑफ अनारकली फॉर द कवर ऑफ 1992 ड्रामा एडिशनली वन वन ऑफ द मोस्ट सक्सेसफुल यूनिसेफ कार्ड फीचर्स अ सुसाई uh most famous piece as well he was also known for his designs of um, postage stamps as well jis tarah logo design kiya pakistan television ka radio pakistan ka usi tarah jo uh, postage stamps thi na uski design ke liye bhi jo hai wo sosai uh, ko bahut zyada correspondence uh, mili and he was famous uh, all over the world by this uh, unique style as well and sosai's paintings are the largest set released in 1948 okay next we will move on to another artist that is bashir ahmed okay a distinguished artist bashir ahmed is a pakistani miniature painter he is the most significant among the miniature artists of pakistan his work is in original Persian and Mughal miniature techniques he worked as the head of MCA National College of Arts Lahore All right he was uh, he is basically a Pakistani painter and also known as Indian miniature painter okay uh, he was born in 1953 and uh, his uh, extraordinary style is uh, to depict the indian miniature style as well okay okay students see his work there are three examples of uh, his work you can see a uh, proper illustration basically he started um, studied the art of miniature painting with ustad sheikh uh, sajaullah and after his graduation from mca in 1974 he continued uh, his work as miniature artist okay basically uh, bashir ahmed uh, is a master craftsman his technique is flawless his patience in remitting and uh, presenting his style is unique and he has taken the art into the 20th century Shujaula might not be so surprised by the modernized adaptations uh, that Bashir has done with miniature painting by his revised uh, more immediate more human uh, teaching tech methods but in 1982 after 6 years of uh, teaching service at the MCA Bashir convinced the college to offer miniature painting as a degree subject all right this is the only college in the world that offers a major in indian miniature painting two years of specializations beyond the first two years of foundation though he has won awards had numerous exhibitions in pakistan and in america uh, founding the department of miniature painting at the uh, national college of arts mca is the accomplishment of which bashir is most pr proud okay see one more example of his work page 2 uh, beautiful colors the combination and the revised uh, technique of uh, mughal and indian indian miniature painting it's a beautiful okay students next we have shazia sikandar uh, she has integrated the techniques and forms of traditional miniature pa painting basically relying on the layering of different images basically um, she was born in 1969 in lahore and uh, working as a pakistani and uh, american visual artist shazia's work across a variety of mediums including drawing painting print making animation installation performance and video she currently lives in uh, new york and working from there 
she is basically Pakistani born, born artist and internationally recognized. And um, Kaja Sikandar's uh, pioneering practice takes classical Indo Pak, Indo Persian miniature painting as its point of his her departure. See, students, here, her work, there is an uh, her piece of art basically revised kiya hai different techniques ko aur uh, usi ki wajah se uh, she is popular and recognized by her work uh, shahjah sikandar is an american pakistani artist whose eclectic work merges contemporary issues of middle eastern identity with art historical references Fusing traditional Indo-Persian miniature painting with minimalist abstraction, as you see in her painting as well. Her work establishes an aesthetic bridge between two cultures. Okay? The purpose is to point out and not necessarily define the artist said of her work. I find this uh, attitude a useful way to navigate the complex and often deeply rooted cultural and um, uh, political, socio-political uh, stances that envelop us 24, uh, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Born in 1969 um, as a Pakistani artist, uh, she studied at MCA, uh, National College of Arts, before receiving her uh, MFA from Rhode Island School of Design in 1995. Uh, she's working in the media of performance, art, culture, vi uh, video produ uh, production, and uh, digital animation. The artist has received significant critical acclaim and international attention of her work. And uh, Shazia Sikandar currently, uh, she is working from New York and uh, her works can be found in the Museum of Modern Art in New York and uh, the National Gallery of Art in Washington as well and uh, one more, uh, the Hammer Museum in Los Angeles. Okay, see one more painting of her work. See students, there is another example of her work. Uh, beautifully composed and uh, fusion of two traditions and two cultures. ठीक है अगर हम नीचे से इसका सारा और वो देखें तो परजियन के साथ मिक्स किया हुआ है फ्यूजन एक क्रिएट किया गया है ओके नेक्स्ट मूव ऑन टू इमरान कुरैशी हु इज बेस्ट नोन फॉर हिज ब्यूटीफुली क्राफ्टेड पेंटिंग्स व्हिच फीचर अ डेलिकेट रिपीटेशन ऑफ डेकोरेटिव मोटिव्स एंड फिगरेटिव एलिमेंट्स एज़ वेल राइट Largely influenced by the Mughal heritage of miniature paintings, Qureshi has uh, evolved his uh, personal iconography that permeates his work as observed in his various paintings and more recently his site-specific installations. Okay, permeates mean uh, sarayat kar jana. Okay. So basically, uh, he was uh, he is still um, working on different topics as well. I will show you his work and uh, um, a few minutes documentary as well. Uh, which I want to one thing is uh, largely influenced by the Mughal heritage of miniature painting. Mi miniature jo tha basically Mughal miniature ka jo zada influence tha wo Imran Qureshi ke kaam mein paaya jata hai. Lekin usko present karne ka tarika different hai. Uh, he reclaimed the regionally rooted discipline of miniature painting that flourished in the Mughal courts of the late 16th century and transports it into the present day. His work constitutes a unique synthesis of traditional motifs and techniques with current issues and the formal language of contemporary abstract painting. See students his work, renowned for his uh, site specific installations as he did and uh, he develops an aesthetic 
that integrates contemporary themes with the motives and techniques of traditional miniature paintings. Leaves and nature represent the idea of life, while the color red that appears at first glance like real blood represents death. The red reminds Kurashi, one of the um, Kurashi of the situation today in his country, Pakistan, and the world, where violence is almost a daily occurrence. But somehow people still have hope. That is his uh, topic. And uh, he also says, hence the flowers that emerge from the red paint in my work represent the hope that despite everything the people sustain somehow their hope for a better future. He works elegantly across the medium of miniature painting, abstract painting, as well as large installations, works on paper and as well as video. See students, his uh, a great installation as well. Site specific installation range internationally from the Sharjah Banale in, 19, in 2011, the inaugural exhibition of the Aga Khan Museum in Toronto titled Garden of Ideas. And uh, contemporary art from Pakistan, uh, basically in nine, uh, 2014, the God of Small Things. Uh, that is also his work. All right, students. Um, Imran Qureshi is represented in the permanent collections of major institutions, including the Metropolitan Museum of Art, New York, and the Victoria and Albert Museum, London. See, students, his work as well. Uh, red bloodshed. Uh, you can see, as I told you, on paper, on canvas or uh, as an installation, he represented uh, his thought of ideas, what he is thinking about the world and, um, and thinking about for his country as well. But there is, uh, he's uh, talking about, uh, there is some hope as well. So uh, his work is basically um, representing um, a great uh, thought uh, and a uh, thought provoking Zahari Bata is a uh, long process hai, jisko aap uh, present kar sakte hai apne kaam mein, uske liye baut sochna padta hai. One more thing um, about his work, uh, that uh, he created an immense piece of art on the rooftop of New York's Metropolitan Museum as part of their roof garden commission, okay? All right, uh, students, um, his work, uh, that's all. Now I would like to tell you about uh, the, these artists' work or jo humne pehle padhe hain, uh, Mughal art, miniature and uh, Persian and Indian. Un sab ko padhne ka purpose ye tha ki kis tarah gradually jo hai wo change aaya hai. Ab aapne apne kaam mein kis tarah se uh, leke aana traditional to uh, cultural se aapne kis tarah se fuse karna hai uh, and uh, amalgamation of two uh, cultures ko represent karna hai, wo aap hai, Persian, Indo ko karna hai, uh, Indian or Mughal ko jo hai, basically uh, Mughal style jo tha, wo Indian hi tha, usi ko karna hai, Pahadi style ko leke aapne karna hai, wo aap pe depend karta hai, but please think about some unique style as well, ye uh, contemporary artist padhane ka purpose yehi tha, ki aap loog kuch nea develop kar sakye hai kuch revolutionary change leke aa sake apne kaam mein jo ki aapki pehchan bane aur aapki identification bane jis tarah imran qureshi ne apne kaam ko present kiya hai ek uh, thought provoking story ke sath ki kis tarah se jo hai wo uh, bloodshed aur uh, jo uh, violence ho rahi hai usko jo hai wo hum uh, kisi tarah to hum usko minimize kar sakte hain na kisi tarah to wo kam kiya ja sakta hai aur usko jo hai wo positive way mein represent kiya hai so, you can do this in a unique style. Okay? Okay, till then, take care. Have a good day. If you want to ask anything, you can ask me. Um, take care, Allah Hafiz.